Hey guys, so it's Shane here from Wizard Gaming. In this video, I just have some sniper tips and tricks for my first, like, five or so hours of gameplay in Battlefield 5. I'm just sort of, like, going over what I felt was sort of the best uh, sort of ways to avoid certain bad situations and how to put yourself in the good situations. Uh, but for you in this video, just like I say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hop right into this. So one of the main things in this game is that you want to keep your distance as a sniper. Unlike previous games like Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, even Battlefield 3, um, you don't really get one-shot kills with sniper rifles. Uh, the only way you're gonna get that one-shot kill is if you actually hit the headshot, um, and that is r somewhat rare up close, especially since the aim down sight speed of the main sniper rifle that you unlock right now is pretty slow. Now the CAR-98 may have faster aim down sights and it may make it easier to uh, quickly uh, sort of snap on a people up close, but right now, basically by the time you aim down sights, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight up close, you're dead. Now if you are behind people or if you're on a bit of an off angle, quick scoping does work. Um, I'll probably have a full video coming out later this week on how to quick scope because there are better ways to do it and it actually can be a pretty viable tactic if you get it down, um, but yeah. Keeping the distance is a main thing, and sniper rifles will always be a one-shot headshot or a two-shot body shot, at least for the bolt-to-action ones. Um, the semi-auto ones are actually very viable as well, since they are a two-shot body shot. Um, so those are actually pretty good, especially since um, you can get off those two body shots a lot faster than you can with a bolt-to-action rifle. So if you aren't too good at hitting the headshots, I would definitely try out the semi-automatic rifle. However, it isn't unlocked right when you get the beta, so that is kind of tough. Um, in addition to this, you're always going to want to carry extra health, um, even more so than other classes, because you're not really going to be on the front lines as much, uh, so you're not going to be able to have the meta healing you up all the time. And just a side note, right now in the uh, beta, you can't even join on squads, uh, so there are no squads, so um, you don't even have medics on you anyway, so getting that extra ammo, or ammo pouch and health pouch from the uh, supply crates are extremely helpful and then when you are weak you can just press up on your d-pad in order to heal um, and it's just super useful I'm glad they added this into the game because it does make healing a lot easier um, in addition to this if you're like shooting at an enemy at long range take a shot and then crouch make sure they don't have too long to line up the shot even strafing back and forth in this game doesn't help too much so I'd recommend for playing the legacy or tactical controls um, where your right sort of joystick is uh, what you use to crouch. Uh, just because then you can sort of crouch up and down while shooting and make it harder for the enemy to hit you in between shots. Um, aim for the head again. Um, you're always going to want to aim for head. The hitbox in this game is a lot bigger as well. And uh, especially at long range, you don't even have to aim that high above their head. The bullet travel speed and bullet drop are both uh, one fast and low in this game. So fast bullet travel speed and low bullet drop. Um, I believe the snipers are 0 to 100 meters and they can't be changed for most of them. However, I noticed up close it's not too big of a deal. And only at long range, you really need to aim that far above people's heads. And you don't even have to lead your shots that much. You've probably seen that clip in the intro where I hit those two long range snipes on running guys um, where I didn't even have to lead them by that much and I was still able to get the headshot. Another tip is don't re-peek other snipers. Um, since the uh, sort of snipers are pretty overpowered in this game and go to long range, if a sniper hits you once, you likely want to reposition before re-peeking him. Um, in addition to this, they don't really show up on the minimap or have scope lint either, so you, it's hard to tell who shot you or exactly where from. Unless you know exactly who shot you, I wouldn't re-peek in the exact same spot. You reposition, maybe heal up a bit above like 45 health, um, because that's what it usually takes you down to. Um, I'd wait until you're above 55 so that he can't one-shot body shot you, and then I'd re-peek. Unless you're feeling super confident and you know that he's a trash kid, I would re-peek right away. Um, also, use, using your pistol in this game is very useful as well. The pistol fires super fast for a semiotic pistol and can pretty much melt people if you have a bullet into them. So if up close you get a guy down at 60 health, it's going to be like two or three shots to kill him, but that goes by super fast on this pistol and it actually is very helpful. So I definitely recommend using that. Um, and then lastly, the FOB, especially on console, I'd recommend having your field of view at like 100. Having it at 70 is really hard to see targets at long range. Um, and once you aim down sight to the sniper rifle, you don't really notice it as much anyway. Um, so I definitely recommend having a higher FOB just to see as many targets as you can. And so guys don't sneak up on you from the side and stuff like that and shoot you. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for my quick tips right now. This is after just like the first day of the beta. So I would take a lot of this with a grain of salt. I'm definitely gonna have update videos on what the new snipers are like and stuff like that. And sort of just overviews of sniping in Battlefield 5 in general and just regular content on the game as well. If you guys are new here, new here don't be subscribed down below. Uh, but again, boys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.